Explain what happens when a negatively charged rod is brought near to the metal cap of a gold leaf electroscope. And here's a gold leaf electroscope. We've got a metal box and there's a metal cap and metal stem that is put inside the box. On that stem is a gold leaf, a very thin sliver of gold, which is hinged at the top so it can rise and fall. Okay, so what happens when we bring a, for example, a polythene rod that's been rubbed with some wool and that will have a negative charge as friction has uh, transferred electrons onto the rod. What happens when we bring that rod close to the cap of the electroscope? Well, this process is called charging by induction. charging by induction and as you bring this negatively charged rod close to this metal cap and stem it will repel any negative charges that are in this metal and of course there are lots of electrons in a metal uh, remember a metal is a uh, a lot of positive metal ions surrounded in a sea of delocalized electrons so those electrons which are in the metal will be repelled down into the stem and so the stem will become negatively charged. That leaves behind the positive metal ions so the, the cap will become positively charged because they're no longer balanced by the electrons which have left them and moved down into the stem. Now because we've got a lot of negative charges here and those negative charges will all be on that gold leaf as well the gold leaf will rise because it will repel as the gold leaf is also negatively charged and like charges repel and so the electroscope gold leaf electroscope is an instrument for checking for charged objects such as this negatively charged rod and something similar would happen if we brought a positively charged rod up to the, the cap, but it'll all reverse. The electrons would be attracted up to the cap, leaving behind positively charged metal ions here and in the gold leaf. And again, the gold leaf would rise as well. But in this case, we've repelled the electrons down the stem and that's made the gold leaf rise. So let's write a couple of words about that. We can say that the negatively charged rod, the negatively charged rod, and we could say e.g. polythene, because polythene becomes negatively charged when you rub it with wool, repels electrons from the electroscope cap, electroscope from the metal electroscope cap, and it's metal so electrons are free to conduct through it. This would not work if, if we were using insulators as the cap and the stem. So in the negatively charged rod repels electrons from the metal electroscope cap down to the gold leaf and metal stem, which repel each other. which repel each other because they are like charges each other and this means that the gold leaf rises as it's repelled away from the stem now you can do your own version of this experiment at home just by using a balloon so so you blow up a balloon 
And if you rub that balloon on some fabric, maybe wool, let's say that you rub electrons onto it via friction. So it becomes negatively charged. If you bring that balloon up to a wall or a ceiling, say so let's say there's a ceiling here, then in the ceiling there are electrons, although the, the ceiling is probably not a very good conductor, those electrons can move a little bit. And so when you bring that balloon close to the ceiling, it will repel electrons from the surface, leaving behind positive charges on the surface of the ceiling. And because the positive charges are close to the negative charges, the balloon will be attracted. And so we get a force, an attractive force, attraction between the negative charges and the positive charges of the ceiling that have been induced. These are induced charges. That's what we mean by induction. Charging by induction. And because these are insulating materials, the balloon will stick to the ceiling uh, and those electrons won't be able to jump over and join the, the positive charges. They're stuck in position. It's static electricity, static, stuck in position. And so that's uh, basically the same thing that's happening in the electroscope, just on a bigger scale with a balloon. So that's charging by induction and this is the gold leaf electroscope.